Stories and content in Weird Darkness can be disturbing for some listeners and is intended for mature audiences only. Parental discretion is strongly advised. I'm Darren Marlar and this is a Weird Darkness Bonus Bite. From our friends at All That's Interesting, Miami mom arrested for using a parody site to try to hire a hitman to kill her three-year-old son by Austin Harvey. 18-year-old mother Jasmine Paez allegedly asked for her son to be, quote, taken away far, far, far away and possibly be killed but ASAP, unquote. The Florida woman accused of attempting to hire a hitman online to kill her three-year-old son has been released from jail on bond by her father. 18-year-old Jasmine Paez of Miami is facing charges of first-degree solicitation of murder and third-degree using a communications device for an unlawful use, according to CBS News. Police said that Paez provided a photo of her son and an address along with her request and asked that the job be completed by the end of the week in her submission to rentahitman.com. The site's owner contacted local authorities when the request came through. Investigators then traced the IP address of the computer used to make the request and quickly matched it with the address of the intended victim. Police found the child at home with his grandmother safe and sound. The grandmother then confirmed the child's identity from the request. In the form, Paez allegedly wrote that she wanted to, quote, get something done once and for all, unquote, by having her son killed. There was an additional request to be quote, taken away far, far away and possibly be killed but ASAP, unquote. Posing as the hired hitman, investigators contacted Paez to confirm the request and negotiated a $3,000 fee for the murder assignment. Shortly after they secured the contract, police returned to Paez's home and arrested her. Paez was jailed and granted a $15,000 bond by a judge which her father then paid, leading to her release. NBC6 Miami spoke to Paez's father, who said in Spanish, "'My daughter is not a monster. My daughter is a little girl who was born with health problems. She has liquid retained in her neck. She's had 12 surgeries. She lost the ability to move her face. She's been bullied in school. They called her the monster.'" Paez's father remained confident that there is more to this case than meets the eye and that he believes the justice system will show the truth of the situation. The toddler, meanwhile, is safe with relatives, and the Florida Department of Children and Families was notified of the incident. Miami-Dade police also admitted that there was some delay in the investigation, in part due to the uniqueness of the case. Because of the fact that it involved online allegations, so that's what caused a little bit of a delay when he called a couple of times, according to Miami-Dade police spokesperson Alvaro Zabalita. But then, once they were able to get a grasp on exactly what he was referring to and how this is playing out, that's when the call taker passed the information to the on-duty supervisor in the Communications Bureau. Robert Eines, who owns RentAHitman.com, said that he'd called the police department's non-emergency number three times before they investigated this case. The first two calls led him to Crime Stoppers. The third got detectives involved. According to Zabaleta, once police began the investigation, they arrested Paez within hours. The Communications Bureau has been in talks with us all day, he said, because of the fact that it is so bizarre. When we utilize this now and create a best practice because of the fact that simply because you run into something that's a little bizarre and it's the first time you run into it doesn't mean you'll never run into it again," Zabalita said. This is not the first time Eins's satirical website has helped investigators catch would-be assassin renters. In June of this year, a teenager in Iowa was arrested for using the site to attempt to hire a hitman for the assassination of a seven-year-old child. Despite the site's several clues revealing it's a parody, you're unlikely to find a site to rent a hitman that's not on the dark web, a number of people have submitted what seem to be genuine requests for the site's services. The homepage of the website features several humorous testimonials and claims to be 100% HIPAA compliant. Except in this case, HIPAA stands for Hitman Information Privacy and Protection Act of 1964. And to be clear, no such act exists. The site actually began as part of a short-lived business venture between Eins and friends who wanted to start a cybersecurity company in 2005. They thought it'd be a rather tongue-in-cheek way of advertising their services. Rent, as in hire us, Eins explained. Hit, as in network traffic and men, because there were four of us. We thought it was funny. When their plans fell through, 
Eines forgot the site until a few years later when he decided to check its inbox and realized it was full of requests. To this day, he monitors the site's email for any requests that may be legitimate threats and alerts local police when necessary. Find the link to the original story in the show notes and find more news on the Weird News and blog at WeirdDarkness.com. Hey Weirdos! Be sure to click the like button and subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I post videos seven days a week. And while you're at it, spread the darkness by sharing this video with someone you know who loves all things strange and macabre. If you want to listen to the podcast, you can find it at WeirdDarkness.com slash listen.